This is my 10 inch Pearl Decade Maple Drum. So I'm going to be using a 10 inch single LED from Drumlight. This is the individual LED pack. I had six of these in the box that I got with my package from them. So when you open it up, you're going to find three parts. The LED strip, which is what the lights are. Each of these right here are the actual lights. Then you've got your connector, which is the XLR based style connector that connects to your snake cable here, like this, and holds it securely. And then you have this, which is a clamp that allows you to clamp and hold the cable to one of your lugs, like so, just like that. And so that way the cable is attached to the drum and doesn't bounce around. Now, in order to actually install the light, it's very simple. You're going to go ahead and unplug the connector from the LED light strip. And if you notice here, there are two black marks on the inside of these connectors. This is just kind of an easy to uh, read way of seeing how these plug in here. But you can also notice that right here there is a plus, which is for the 12 volt, and there's a B for blue, there's an R for red, and there's a G for green. So if you don't have the black Sharpie or it rubs off, that's how you'll know how to actually put that together. Now pull that off, and you're going to take the drum light itself, find out where it is that you wanna put it. I'm gonna put it right about here. And then remember that based on where you put it, your connector has to come in through the porthole and connect. So whether you put it here or you put it over here, whatever it is, you wanna make sure that you find your place before you start putting it on. Because if you put it on and you put the connectors over here, you're gonna have to like come all the way through and connect like that and it's gonna look really weird. So you wanna try and make it look as professional as possible. And that is easier to do if you place the light closer to the porthole where it plugs in. So, find your black mark. So you peel back the red tape like this. You wanna make sure you clean the drum first as well. If there's a lot of dust or anything inside the drum, or if they've been left open for a while and have gotten some sort of filth on the inside, you wanna clean that up first because that'll allow it to um, actually attach better. So I'm gonna put this right about here. You can go ahead and stick that down and then you wanna kinda of pull the strip around on the inside of the drum and then just lay it down. It's a little bit easier to keep it level if you're doing it on an acrylic kit where you have the bearing edge as a reference, but just try and keep it as smooth as possible around the inside of the drum. You can pull it off if you need to, to adjust a little bit. And then you want to end up right over there. Then you wanna press that all in really good, make sure it's on there. And boom. All right, so you plug in the cables like that. You can feed this out. One thing that I recommend is taking a small piece of electrical tape. And that will keep these from pulling out if you pull on this cable too much. So before you actually put the head back on, you want to make sure that you test the light. And boom, look at that. We have a drum light. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so now you're good to put the head back on. Go ahead and grab your head. Place it on the drum, and then at this point, you can take your cable and the attachment that you had from earlier, 
slide it on like that. Line up your tension rod and slide the cable behind the tension rod. Then hook this through the tension rod, just like that. I'm going to close this up here once it's in. Then slide this through your tension rod. And boom, you have a finished drum light drum. Ta-da! All right, so now you are done with one drum. At this point, it is rinse and repeat for each of the rest of your drums. I don't really have to sit down and show you guys how to do any of these other drums. They're all exactly the same. Your kick drum has the same kind of porthole on it where you run the wire out. Um, it's just a bigger size and the rest of the drums are exactly the same as well. Now you can do a snare drum if you'd like. Um, I have my snare drum on my crystal beat kit lit, lit up, but I don't think I'm going to light up the snare drum on this kit. I haven't decided yet. Still trying to figure it out. I don't have it in the package here, but I may end up adding it on if I do decide that I want that. So I'm going to light up the rest of these drums and then I'll show you the rest of the configuration. And that completes the installation process of the lights inside the actual drums. Um, all of your cables are now attached on the outside to the lug so that they're secure. The inside, the connection, you've put a little tape on there. You don't have to, but I suggest it just because if someone or something gets caught right here and pulls too hard, you could possibly disconnect it and then you have to take the drum head off. And other than that, um, Man, that's about it. A few of the things that I have learned through the process of installing the drum lights a second time, and a few things that I've relearned. First off is that the actual drum head choice is a huge factor in how it looks. I love the coated head, the coated white head on the front of a kit, um, especially a wood kit with the drum light in it. That looks so good. And then over here, my favorite head for um, the actual drums is a Remo pinstripe clear because it's got a little bit of a texture around the edge that catches the right the light really well and then everything else just looks so good also sounds really good too so that's a big factor and then a couple of other things that I noticed that could affect your installation um, one thing to note is that depending on the drum size there is some overlap or is there there is no overlap of the LED light certain drum sizes have where the actual LED light comes all the way around and passes the other side just slightly and then some of them have a gap and so when you're doing one that is long enough to pass itself you want to be careful not to make sure that it runs right back into itself so I'll show you a little bit of how I did it on the kick here um, but that is just because there's different places that you can snip the lights for the different sizes and so depending on the size it's either longer or a little bit shorter. You just don't want to make sure that you keep yourself from being able to plug in those lights. And then lastly, I did do something a little different with the kick drum. I said I wasn't going to, but I wanted to put the lights right up next to the drum head in the front so that their light was as bright as possible. So I did that and then ran the cable a little bit differently underneath the tom mount here. That way when the toms, uh, if you use tom arms, come down into the drum, they don't hit the cable and yank it out or anything like that. So show you some video of that and other than that now is the last piece of the puzzle here and that is the actual cable installation so I'll show you that really quick first off we'll turn this off we'll unplug it 
So you've got your module here. One end of the module plugs into one end of the snake, but you want to find the end that doesn't have a double connector because that means it's an end. So you'll plug that into your module and then you plug the power into the adapter. And now you have power to your actual module here. You can turn it on and make sure it's working. Looks like we're good here on the kick drum. And then you can go ahead and start connecting each of your drums. Good there. Good there. Good there. And since I have the six drum option, I have this little expander that I showed you guys earlier. So you can hook that up to two of your drums. You'll probably want to use it for your rack tom since they're right next to each other or your floor tom since they're right next to each other. But for now, we'll just do it that way. And then hook that up and boom. Everything is operational. So that is the installation process for the drum light lighting system. And I'm so happy it's done. It took about like 45 minutes, but it's not too bad when you only have the single. If you're doing the dual band with the acrylic kit or a dual band in a wood kit and putting it near the bearing edge, you might um, probably take a little more time to make sure that it's really, really smooth and it's level and everything. But um, in the middle of the drum, it doesn't matter as much. And so I was able to be a little, little bit quicker in the installation. So that is it. That's the installation.